the full suite. The full suite is every tool on the website. And basically what this does is it gets you into Reaper and it functions in a very similar way to Pro Tools. So coming from Pro Tools, this should feel like a very familiar environment and it should get you up and running fast. So this includes everything from the macros, all the custom macros from Pro Tools and Pro Tools Plus, all of the scripts that I wrote um, to make it, to make Reaper work like Pro Tools. This includes over here the buttons. Um, I use surround and stereo a lot, so I made buttons for those, especially in subsessions, and also a subproject button. Um, I'll just give you an example of what the subproject button does. You press the subproject button, and it copies over the video track if you need it, and also the routing from your master session so that you can immediately play sounds on your DAW, which is what you want. But within Reaper, it doesn't do that automatically. So those are the buttons. I use those all the time. It also includes mouse modifiers. And mouse modifiers are just how your mouse works in the DAW. So for instance, on the ruler, if I hold the left click button and go up and down, it zooms in and out. And that's what I modified the mouse to do. Also, if you click a button and then click left click on the mouse, it can solo a track depending on the button. Also, you can move a, a media item up and down based on clicking a button and the mouse. And also, last but not least, is included the uh, Pro Tools template, uh, which has a video track automatically for you if you're doing video. It also has just, you know, um, normal tracks, which you can duplicate easily um, through some of the shortcuts um, that I created. And an LFE track that is just going to the LFE automatically for you and just an instrument track. It's just an easy way to get up and running and it's color coded to make it look, you know, semi pretty. So this is just an overview. If you wanna go deeper, go to the tools website and click on any of the tools, including the mouse modifiers and the macros, and it'll go in depth onto what each tool is exactly doing.